at the Soto Free Wall, the surface is ever changing. I'm sure you can peel back layers upon layers of paint on this wall. Layers left by spray cans. Instruments to deface or create. You just mentioned the word graffiti. And look at people's faces or hear their reactions and they just immediately, you know, turn away from it sometimes. Marcus Williams says what he does here is often misunderstood. A lot of people don't realize is it is an art form. When we come here to get away from everything and do a piece. Marcus's pieces take hours. A.B.'s. Tag it up real quick and it lets it all out. Take seconds. You're John Hancock. On this wall, graffiti is legal. Kind of like a watering hole with all the animals that want to drink. This is the back wall of William Bloxham's produce distribution yeah. business. We've chosen to make this space available to people. Bloxham has been welcoming urban artists and their spray paint for about a decade. It's not traditional to think that way. The free wall draws lots of visitors. I appreciate street art like the next person and there's some really great stuff here. Christopher Young sees a difference between art like Marcus's and the vandalism he recognizes from the street. They do a lot of illegal graffiti. It's a tagging crew. Young is more than an urban art critic. He's a cop and about the free wall, he's conflicted. Free walls can cause a lot of problems. As Seattle's graffiti detective, Young says vandals caught elsewhere often tell officers they're headed here. I do seem to get a lot of graffiti cases in Soto, and I probably wouldn't get as many if this wasn't here. And that's the complaint from neighbors. Graffiti doesn't stop where the wall ends. They're doing graffiti on the way here, you know, doing graffiti on the way out. It's like leaving little, little snacks, you know, along the way so you can kind of find your way back. I guess they feel that they've ran out of room and they want to come and get our building. Sierra Burnett says vandals often strike her nearby spa. They've made a mess for us. Next door to the wall, Burlington Northern Santa Fe recently put up this fence after a spike in graffiti on railroad property, even train signals. Not every neighbor is upset. Sports lettering company owner Jerry Thornton thinks the tags he cleans up are left by different people than those who paint the wall. These guys, I think, are you know more or less artists that are trying to show their work. Mayor is one of those artists. It's always been a really great place uh, for freedom of expression. She and the property owner say the wall keeps graffiti from appearing somewhere else. If this wasn't here, it would be worse. I promise you that. A couple hundred thousand cans all wasted here at the Seattle Free Wall rather than on your beautiful Seattle streets. And I think graffiti gets a really bad rep because people only see, you know, the tagging part of it. So with each shot of spray paint, Marcus Williams spreads a message. GIA for graffiti is art. Anything you can do with regular art, you can do with graffiti. And after three hours, there's a lot more to it than people think. He's done. That's it. The fleeting moment seized. The free wall transformed again. And to go from a blank wall to color everywhere, I think is great.